hey, yo. Get into Angelo. What I call her, yeah. It is way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. No, I'm here. Mano. I'm still. I'm still here. You still here, Mano? Even, even on a holiday. Yes, it's Indigenous Peoples Day. That's right. Today, that's what we celebrate up here. It's the only Christopher we recognize is Wallace mm-hmm. and so, Rios. And even understanding Indigenous Peoples Day, you mm-hmm. have to understand how Columbus Day came about. That's right. The lies that was told. Yes. And, uh, and the land that was took. Native Americans started challenging that history right. behind Columbus Day. So right now we're reflecting on how the United States has treated Native Americans. Mm-hmm. And to consider that history, reflect on what has gone on here, how much Native like Americans that. have endured, how much they persevered, and how much they still have to continue to fight for. Absolutely. All right. But we're at work. We're still here. <laughs> we're at work. We're not uh, celebrating that right now. No. Go home and watch a documentary on that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, um, Mano, I see you've been choosing people for... Yeah, I chose four winners so far. People don't listen. Mm-hmm. People are like, yo, man, I, I feel like I won. I'm like, I haven't even gotten to that section of, of the land that you live in, right? Whatever part of the United States that you live in. I only picked the person from Hartford, Connecticut. Mm-hmm. I picked the person from Atlantic City, Virginia Beach, and I think uh, Miami. Okay. All right. I'm going to go listen to all of them right now. I got to slide through yeah. and see well. who you picked. Um, and, of course... Today, we are going to start the show off with some positivity on a Monday. So call us up. 800-292-5150 is a number. Let us know who you would like to shine a light on. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm going to shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. No, Mano. Yeah. It's a Monday. It's Indigenous Radio. People's Day. And Jennifer Williams is on the way, by the way, to Is co-host. that so? Yes, Basketball Wives OG. Okay. And she's actually, um, Basketball Wives is coming back on tonight. Okay, it's the uh, season premiere. Yes, it's the season premiere for Basketball Evelyn's back on the show. I haven't watched that in so long. We're going to get some inside scoops today. But you know, while I'm shining a light, I want to shine a light on my group text. You know, we all have these group chats in our phones. But the reason I'm doing that since Jennifer is coming today, I have all of my friends because we went to high school together from high school in this group chat. And so they actually had like a reunion over the weekend. For and you and Jennifer? No, um, my high school that oh, I went the to, school, the okay. one in Jersey, Columbia High School. Nice. So shout out to, um, in my group chat, Monique, Tanisha, Jennifer, Jamil, uh, that's my, and Heidi. That's my, my group of high school friends in this chat where we talk about everything. And I was yeah. telling them, I was like, make sure y'all pay attention. And I love the fact that in my group chat, anytime somebody does something good, the first thing they do is like celebrate it, post a screenshot. Everybody tells their whole family, like my mom yeah. saw you. And it's That's really good. nice to have like that friend group. Right. I don't. I have a couple of group chats. I know you do. I don't want to shout them out because it's possible that uh, we can be <laughs> indicted on, on our group chats. Uh-oh. Um, you better do it in WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> do it in WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm going to leave that group chat alone. <laughs> All right. Well, who do you guys want to Shine a light on 800 292 5150. Laysia, how are you? I'm fine. How are you guys? We're good. Who you want to shine a light on? I got to shine a light on myself because I had COVID and it caused temporary paralysis in my leg. But as of April of this year, I have been wheelchair free, walker free. I'm back on my feet. Oh, wow. Yes. So hard the past few years. To wow. make it, so I want to shine a light on myself. I've been so selfless, but today it's about me. That's right. You deserve it. That's right. Shine a light on yourself, Alasia. You deserve it. And we are so like thankful. We got to thank God every single day that that happened Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for prayers and support, I, I probably wouldn't have made it as far as I have. I lost everything. I lost my home. Being in the hospital for so long, I was away from my son for months and months at a time. But now I'm on my feet. I am so happy and I'm so blessed. Well, thank you so much for calling. That's why we always got to thank God and be grateful for what we do have. Sure. And I know that's just made you so much more appreciative. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for that inspiration today. We love you, Lasia. 
Thank you. Love y'all. Bye, Nina. Hey. She said bye. You said hey. All right. Well, that was Shine a Light on them. 800-292-5150 is the number in case you couldn't get through and you would like to leave a message. You can always do that. And when we come back, we have Yeetie. Let's talk about Drake and what his numbers are looking like for the first week. But also people who have issues with him like Joe Button. All right. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Yeetie next. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Talk to me. Angela's spilling that yee tea. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mayno is here. New Mayno! I feel like you're slow on that. Jennifer Williams is in the building. Ooh. She made it. Yes. Apparently a lot of street closures because of parades happening. Oh Hi, Jen. Hi, Hi. Jen. Hi, Getting guys. ready for Basketball Wives tonight, the premiere. But let's get into some Yee Tea first, and we're going to get into Jennifer's business later. Oh, Lord. But let's talk about Joe Button versus Drake. Now, to be clear, Drake's album for All the Dogs is out, and it's going to do huge numbers, about 450,000 in the first week. Wow. Right, so that's uh, that's a really big opening. It would be the fourth biggest opening of any album this year, only behind Taylor Swift, Morgan Wallen, and Travis Scott. And wow. that's what it's on pace to do at this point. Now, Joe Button has some criticism about Drake's new album. Here's what he said. He rapping for the children. You are 36. Get the f- away from some of these younger n- and stop f-ing these 25-year-olds. I get it that you appeal to the world. I am want to hear adult Drake rapping for adult people. All right. Well, apparently a lot of other people don't feel that way when you see these numbers. Right. Now, Drake responded and he wrote a long, well thought out response. Yeah. (laughs) He said, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you are doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure. Give their opinion on Mm. his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter. Give their opinion on how to achieve Mm. longevity. You switch careers because of things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check. And the raps you write have 450 men showing up to your shows in Dusty and Nietzsche jeans to screw up their face to mood music 29 and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset. And then he goes on to say, this is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need to put it in simpler terms, I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies Ooh, first class on special Jesus occasions. Christ. Mm-hmm. The 973. All right, girl. Represent, <laughs> <Wow>. Jennifer. <laughs> I'm like, hold on now. Was, All right. It's some beautiful homes there. Uh, now, absolutely. Joe Button responded to Drake. He said, you'll grow up sooner or later. Father time is undefeated. And then Drake said, I thank God for this life and not having to come to rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. <gasps> Why did Best Buy have to get astray? <laughs> Why really? A lot of shots fired. Okay. Wow. So, in the meantime, mm. in between time, what did you think about that, though? Man. That whole exchange. You know what? I understand it from, from both angles. Being an artist and being talked about at at some to- at some point you feel like man shut up man like, you keep talking <laughs> about me like you always got something to say but we live in a time where everybody got an opinion about something mm-hmm. everybody got a, an opinion about what you do the music you put out the clothes you wearing something going on with you who you sleeping with or whatever and after a while you get tired of it Listen, certain music I enjoy turning up to. You know I love right. Sexy Red. You yeah. know I love Glorilla. And it may not be my age group, right. but it's fun. Man, listen, right. if you enjoy the music, you enjoy it, period, point blank. Like, I don't think there's a, a age limit. I don't think that, I mean, whatever it is, obviously whatever he doing is working to mm-hmm. the to the umpteenth power. He's but Joe the, Button has the right to not like it. Right. He okay. has that right to not like it. And does he have the right to speak on it? He does, Right. That's right. right. Yeah. You can speak on whatever you want to speak on, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, this is the repercussions of speaking on what you're speaking on. <laughs> All right. Shots getting fired back. Well, in the meantime, um, Drake has been still on tour. And doing some amazing giveaways during his final Toronto show of It's All a Blur. All right. uh, One thing that he did was he gave away a G-Wagon on the last of two hometown dates. Here's what that sounded like. I'm going to pick the winning ticket out of this drum right here. I want everybody to be super quiet. Maybe we can hear the winner scream. I just want to know if we hear anybody scream. I thought we would hear the G-Wagon. Another thing he gave away, uh, he actually offered to pay for a woman who was battling MS, multiple sclerosis, um, in the audience to pay all her medical bills. 
Mm. Her son says, I just found out I have MS. Will you help me in my night? You know, my brother Cordy is one of the strongest people on earth. And he fights through a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to connect you with Cordy, first of all. Maybe y'all can have a conversation. And second of all, I'm going to pay you whatever it takes to get you the best help in the world. I promise you that. All right. And lastly, he also paid seven people's college tuitions. All right. And so that was um, Drake holding it down. So no matter what people say, keep on doing positive things. I, I love that. I love that he paid the medical bills. I've seen him giving out Birkin bags. But, you know, medical, you just medical never bills know. Are no joke. Exactly. Yes, the best no care joke. possible. So no, shout out to him for that. That's awesome. All right. Well, that is your YT. And when we come back, we have about last night where we discuss what we did last night. Jennifer Williams is in town. Hey. All right. It's way up with Angela Yee. Yeah. Last night. So, about last night. Last night. Last night. Here's how it went down. All right. It is way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mayno is here. No, Mayno. Yeah. Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives is here. In the building. Oh, I was waiting for a drop. We got to get her a drop. Yeah. yeah. Come on, baby. Why do I, I need, I they need have like a, drop? a little applause like a, or something? Something like a basketball bouncing, like something. Oh, no, wow. I have a good one from what? the reunion last year. Okay. All right. So anyway, let's talk about what we did last night. Now, Mano, I know you've been working hard on this for my city. Yeah, for my city. You know, we uh but you know, it was the Chelsea House one year anniversary <gasps> for the for our second location. Okay. So we did that. It was a great turnout. R. I. P. Happy birthday to Spider. We lost Spider. Um and yeah, so I picked four winners. Mm-hmm. So far, I got a couple more to pick. You well, gotta a pick a lot because there's a lot, a lot of cities. A lot of cities. He's got a for my city challenge for his song. Right. He took his verse off the first mm-hmm. verse, and everybody gets to represent for their city, and then they'll right. be uploaded and streamed representing right. their city. Oh, that's, that's dope. Right. I like that. That's right. So I got four. I got one from Hartford, VA Beach, uh, Atlantic City, and Miami right now. So far, Miami. All right, now Jennifer, what'd you do last night? Well, you know, I got here yesterday. The traffic was hell. Right. And I just, honestly, I went to dinner and that's it. Well, I had a very busy weekend. First of all, uh, Dan, our producer, it was his girl, his fiance's birthday. So I went to her birthday party. There was a magician there, Josh Pele. That's his name, right? First of all, he... There was one thing that he did that was crazy. He was like, okay, think of a person. Think of a letter. I said the letter Y. Right. And he was like, I want you to think of a person who's not here. And I'm going to tell you who you were thinking of. And why right. did he say my brother's name, right. Brian? And, he, and that's who I was thinking of. Right. Are and you that, serious? Yes, he does yeah. that. He did it to me. Whoa, that sounds crazy. <laughs> Just hey, isolate hey. that for right. us so we can right. keep on playing. That I was, <laughs> I was, you stop playing with me, y'all. I was, I was at, the, I was at this hotel, the civilian hotel, and I met him. This had, this had to be maybe a week ago. And he mm-hmm. did the same thing to me. I, I'm like, how how are you able I don't to do know that? How like, he, how are you gonna tell me? How are you gonna guess what's in my mind? He gave me a picture of myself out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> I picked the card. He said, "Pick the card, pick the card." And then when he when he gave it to me, it was a picture of me. Wow, that's it's crazy. crazy. Like, that's wild, man. You know, all I know is Halloween is coming up. If this is a horror movie, we've entered another dimension oh that goodness. we can't return from, and this can turn <laughs> into something. Oh my god! Now you've opened the gateway to what? For some spirits. Oh my god! <laughs> we did this. Oh my god! A movie idea. Oh my god! All right. And the other thing that I did is yesterday I went to dinner with um, Dr. Trisha Bailey, and she was really amazing. So I was excited. She has a book out called Unbroken. She's actually going to be on Sherry Shepard today, but she's a billionaire and a philanthropist. She was born nice. in Jamaica, um, and it's called Unbroken, the triumphant story of a woman's journey. And it talks about all of the personal and professional tragedies that she's had. But then she came through on the other side to become a self-made billionaire. All right. She's from Jamaica. She came to the United States at 13. Mm. And so her story is pretty amazing. Yeah, tree it's job. Like great accomplishment. Tree job. Uh, you know, you have to stop at this. Tree job. With this accent. My accent. <laughs> uh, so shout out to her. Also, shout out to Chef J.J. Johnson. I did his show also over the weekend for Clio TV. I was all over the place, guys. I mean, getting out Booked and busy. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, we know, that's what we know you for. The work don't stop, y'all. You know? And you know what else doesn't stop? Secrets. No matter Woo! what we do in our life, there's Woo! secrets going on. Man. And Mano's favorite segment, and Jennifer, Man. you're going to love this too. Oh, Tell boy. us a secret, Tell okay? Secret. That's where people get to call in 
800-292-5150 and they get to tell us a secret. We don't pass judgment on them. It's something, some things they don't say their name, so it's anonymous. Right. So they can say anything and feel comfortable in sharing with us. Judge we, free. Judgment free. Yeah, we don't judge them. Okay. No, I've seen some crazy stories on here, Ian. Yeah. So. Have yeah. you seen Mayno oh. judging people? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I, you know, I, I see the clips because obviously I follow you on social media, and I'm like, wait, what? You slept with your girlfriend's mother? Right, that's like, crazy, Ooh. right? Well, that's a uh, light one. Um, eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. Make it good, y'all. Make it juicy. Tell us a secret. Eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty. This is a judgment free zone. Tell us a secret. All right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. No, Mano. Yeah. Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives is here. No drop hey. is ready yet? Okay. What's that drop? It's not ready? Oh, man. I got an epic drop for Jennifer. <laughs> and we're going to be talking... I look like a deluxe b- to you. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- to you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you watch the show, you know. Okay. Um, and we'll talk a lot more about that because guess what? Her fiance's in the room too. And we'll discuss that later. But in the meantime, it's time for you guys to tell us a secret. 800 292 5150 is the number. Mayno, any secrets you want to tell? Not today. Are you a legend? Absolutely. <laughs> Jennifer, Absolutely. any secrets? I feel like we had a lot of secrets as kids. We definitely had a lot of secrets. We were like. We were a little bad. Yeah, we were pretty bad <laughs> growing up in uh sneaking I, out the I house. I can see that right now. Yeah, sneaking out the house all the time, coming to my house. <laughs> you know, my parents listen. Um, all right. Well, eight hundred two nine two fifty one fifty is a number. Hello, anonymous caller. What's your secret? Okay, so back in two thousand five, I had to go and turn my sister to do five years in the penitentiary. And before I went, I knew that it was going to be a while before I got with some guys. So I had a big old party, a big pool party. We were all at the <laughs> kids. And there was a set of brothers there and like a cousin there. And they all was all want me. And they kept telling me I just want to do this and that to you. And it all sounded so <laughs> So I went to like three guys that might not pound them in me. But they wanted, they wanted to get me oil. So for five or ten minutes, I'll go in the bathroom, come back out, get the next one out the pool, go back to the bathroom, get some oil. And they just went all like that all night. I had a good time. But I had to come like that in the next morning. They go to the penitentiary. Wait a second. Well, she, she had Hold sex on. with five no, guys. She oral said. sex. She said they came in and performed oral on her one by one. She had an oral orgy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait. Did you perform it back? Yeah. Jennifer, no, 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 I did not perform back. And I know you, I love you, but no, I did not. Did you keep in touch with any of them while you was locked up? No, 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 no. I just wanted to do it that night. All right. Yeah. I like and that. And then I got then, I went to the penitentiary and got turned out by females the whole five years. Oh, so it was just good. wow. It was all good. All right, Jaws yeah. of Death, we see you. Jaws of Death. <laughs> yeah. You still talk to your girl from in the penitentiary? Oh, yes, I have a lot of girls that tell us who's still from the penitentiary, Whoa. yes. Okay. A lot well, of I girls you've been with. <laughs> All right, thank you yeah, for calling. Guys. You're welcome. Is Have she a good legend? Morning. Mayno, is she a legend? Uh-huh. Yeah, I got to give you legendary status. She's a legend. You are a legend. <laughs> hey, Anonymous Carla, how are you? What up, what up, what up, though? What up, though? Oh, you from Detroit. Okay, you Jennifer's like here. Oh, yeah. Mayno's here. Seven mile represent. Seven, Seven mile. Yeah. All right, you want to tell us a secret? Oh man, this was it was real foul. I ain't gonna lie. Well, anyway, years ago when I was married, I took my wife's whip and I went and smashed this other chick in her car. Wow! In the passenger seat. But then, but 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 wait, it gets worse. You know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> uh, gets worse. I had you know what I'm saying like all my and all that was in the was in the passenger side of the seat. It was all wet. So you didn't so use a condom. Is, so you didn't use a condom. No. Nah. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, mm. So when I'm going to pick my wife up later on, she's sitting down in the you know the wet spot. Like, oh, what's this? Oh, I got still some pop in the car. Uh, <laughs> what happened to this classy young lady you smashed in the car? In her car? Oh man, you know what's crazy is she actually died on the road. Oh my gosh! I oh. found that idea. She actually did years Jesus. later. But I'm not so bad about it. But at the time, I mean, what well, can I cuss? I'm sorry. 
It's you would have been a you would have been a legend yeah. if you would have really brought her to your wife's bed. Then if you would have brought her to your wife's bed, then no, you would, I, I could have gave not. you a legend status. But, this whole story was tragic. You know. Oh word. Yeah. yeah, she don't be with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't have plenty of juices all that, but my wife and child, she she wasn't with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I definitely popped at her, but she wasn't with it. You know what I'm saying? All right. But, well, shout out to Seven Mile, I guess. <laughs> but thank you for sharing. All right. Well, that was tell us a secret. <laughs> Y'all made it juicy today. That was a husband for you. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer's getting married. Mm. I am. I am. We'll talk about it later. 800-292-5150. In case you couldn't get through, you could still leave a message and tell us a secret. And since we're talking relationships, let's talk about Gordon and Mia from Real Housewives of Potomac. He actually gave her a pass to sleep with other men, and she mm. still cheated. We'll tell you what they said. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Oh, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Come and get the tea. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Maino is here. New Maino! Yep. Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- to you? <laughs> I absolutely do not. <laughs> All right, and let's get into some Yee tea. Now let's talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. Mia Thornton, she had released a statement, and this was on September 29th. She said, like all marriages, ours has had its up and ups and downs. At this time, Gordon and I are separated, but my family is my number one priority, and I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to make sure we are okay. And then she asked for privacy and for space and time to figure things out. All right. Now, they have been married since 2012, and they also, a lot of times, you know, share about raising their kids, Jeremiah, Juliana, and uh, listen... He now has put out his own statement with TMZ. He did an interview, Gordon Thornton, and he's 71 years old, by the way. Mia's 38. And here's what he said he ended up doing uh, as far as making sure that she could be satisfied by having a hall pass to sleep with other men. I know there's going to become, come a time when I probably won't be able to satisfy all your needs. I want you to know that I am okay with you finding what you need elsewhere. I only have two rules. One is, don't give me a reason to look for it. Secondly, keep the kids out of it. As long as you'll do that, I'm fine. Ooh, mm. Can you imagine being okay mm. with that? Mm. No, that sounds insane to me. <laughs> Mano, could you be okay if, you know? I probably will. At some oh, point, yeah. At some point. Wait, yeah. you would be okay with your wife if sleeping with somebody else? I was 80 else? years old, I mean. He's 71. It's the same, 71, 80, like... <laughs> All right. Well, in addition to that, he, however, said that she has, I guess, found somebody who's able to satisfy her financial needs. Mm, mm, mm. I do agree that Mia married me for my money and the future that she thought I could provide. Yeah, I absolutely believe her leaving me now is tied to the fact that I don't have access to assets and my funds are limited at this point in time, that she now has access to funds. And this guy that she's seeing, she believes, has access to funds. And I think she's leaving me for that reason. Wow, that hurts. Yeah. Well, I guess it's no Mm. for better or worse there. (laughs) And, you know, I don't know. Well, I guess they are separated. Um, And he was trying to stay, though. He was trying to have this open situation. It didn't work. It did not work. And maybe if the finances were there, it would have. But he says that. Her appetite for money is what is the cause for this not being able to work out. Well, he knew that when he married her, right? She was a young girl. He had money, right? <sighs> I think people want to believe that when someone's with you, it's for the right reason. No, that's not. That's not true. They want to believe it, though. I feel no, like I, you, I feel like people want to believe that too. Yeah. Whether you deep down inside you know, know you you want to believe that you older guy with a lot of money and is a younger girl with you know looking for opportunity. You, you know see, what it is. And maybe people on the outside were like, sir, this is what it is. But sometimes Absolutely. you don't want to believe it. You and you're like, it. no. It's better just to we know love each something, other. man. Like, listen, man, I got this young girl. I know what it is. When I get 71, I ain't going to be able to keep it up. I think hindsight and uh, is is when you find out like, wow, I guess in hindsight, 
<laughs> it is what it is. All right. And speaking of divorce, let's talk about Tia Mari and her long. She, you know, got divorced from Corey Hardrick. They were married for 14 years, by Man, the way. That's my that God, is too. crazy. I was that's just like watching forever. that movie that he was it. in with Kiki Palmer um, the other day, too. But anyway, she recently did a sit down with Chris GQ Perry. He also, by the way, recently did lip service. And she was talking about uh, her dating life now because she was married for 14 years. Mm. That's a long time. Here's what she had to say. You mentioned tradition, you know, and I think that's where it needs to go back to. You know, a man is courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her. And I feel like what's happening now, and again, I've only been in the world for a few months, is they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. That is it that they're the prize? Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes! <laughs> Well, people were in her comments saying you might as well just get back with your ex. And she wrote on Twitter, just because dating life is complicated doesn't mean I'm going to go back to something that no longer serve me. That's like saying if I don't book an audition or a part right away, I'm going to give up on my dreams as an actor. Please just stop. I ain't that weak. Please move on because I have. Thank you. Next. Why did they break up in the first place? They have never been really clear about that. You know? uh, yeah, I have no idea. It wasn't about infidelity. I guess she's saying it just no longer served her. Mm. And it, yeah. Sometimes people just fall out of love. I know. Well, right? I think that you never really know the real reason. Walking so. around, seeing mm -hmm. them in the kitchen, like, I don't even like this dude. And all the stuff that used to be cute is no yeah, longer it's, cute. Yeah, it's corny. That's now. sad. Like, why but are you I, breathing? I, right. Like I like the way you, I hate the way you breathe. I hate the way you sleep. <laughs> No, dating is dating is difficult though. Yeah. I I think you know because it's just it's different now. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little ghetto. A lot of distractions. Now, now it's ghetto. <laughs> now, Single you, life. You locked in now, so now you can just now, look at the rest God. of us as, as being ghetto now. Like no, it is. It's I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm off right. the market. I'm super right. thankful for that. But I do. I feel her because I feel like men dating now they they don't court you, mm. and I'm excited to say that my fiance dates me every day nice whoop, whoop. okay oh, he right man, here right so, now hey, what's come you know on navy about? where's okay. the, the claps man come on like, all right well yeah. listen that is your yeti and when we come back we have under the radar these are the stories <sighs> that are not necessarily in the headlines they are flying under the radar it's way up yeah news this is the news that relates to you these stories are flying under the radar all right, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mayno is here. New Mayno! Jennifer Radio. Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b to you? Nope. <laughs> All <Hell> right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into some under the radar stories. These are not necessarily the headlines. In Detroit, the first 3D printed home is about to hit the market. Mm. All right. And the home is priced at $224,500. It was built by a 3D printer. It's the first of its kind in the city. Can you imagine? I need to see how that look. Mm hmm Right. It so, sounds interesting. You know, the walls are uh, made of 3D printable mortar. It was filled with insulation, covered in stucco. And the front porch and even some of the accents inside were all printed by a nonprofit called um, Citizen Robotics. So Yeah, I got to see what that look like. Like, they have all kind of 3D stuff, like guns. Guns, like, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Mm hmm All right, mm -hmm. now let's talk about your favorite global accent. According to reports... There are the most attractive accents and the least attractive accents. Now, See? I gotta admit, number one on the list for least attractive was New York. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that article. We don't have an accent, though. That's what we think. <laughs> number two we definitely do. was Boston for least attractive. I think Boston should have been first. Yeah, over yeah, over Absolutely. New York. Boston, they have a very distinctive coffee, accent. Coffee, the mm -hmm. coffee. <laughs> the ba. The ba. All right, number three, American Midwestern. Number four, Canadian. Number five is American Southern. They just hate us. <laughs> uh, number six is Spanish. Number seven is German. Mm -hmm. um, now, for the most attractive, what would you think is the most attractive accent? Probably. British. Yeah, British. Uh, well, London French. was number three. Okay. On the list. Number one was Australian. Oh. I mm. would never have thought that. Me either. Right. It's not like we're running into a bunch of Australians every day. Right. Like, do we know anybody Australian? Personally, no, Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, Iggy I was going to say, Iggy, 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 yeah, Azalea. Iggy Azalea is Australian. Right. Is she? I didn't know yeah. that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and what about that guy? Um, he has a show where he's like always fighting animals. Oh, he died. Steve Irwin. Yeah. Was he, he got, Australian? Well, he got it. He got 
Yeah. Killed by a stingray. Well, they do have a distinctive act. Number two is Scottish. Like I said, three is London. Four is Irish. Five is French. Clearly, somebody white did this list. <laughs> right. It's crazy. That's I'm just saying, like, you know. It's a bad list, man. Yeah, I don't know about this list. Who made this? Yeah, it's a um, little suspect. Because Australia, number one. and then, Well, I guess it's nation. And New York it's is, not like, just the least favorite? That's crazy. I'm offended. Everywhere I go, that's everywhere that I go, when I'm not home, they like, oh, I love your accent. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, clearly they're lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah, it's Cap. They, they wow. don't love your so accent. When it, so when we go to uh, Europe, they don't love our accent? Apparently not. Mm. Apparently not. No, somebody from Australia made that. All right, well... <laughs> And uh, lastly, Delta customers, if you couldn't get a refund after your flight was canceled at the start of the pandemic, you will get your share of a $27 million settlement. That's for people who were actually given credit instead of their refunds. All right. Delta said that it denied each and every allegation of liability, wrongdoing and damage. And people who canceled their flights um, wouldn't get a refund. But now the airline is going to make cash payments with 7% interest for the amount of unused credit customers whose flights were canceled have. So... I used all my credits, so I get nothing. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I definitely use my credits, and I love Delta. I'm Diamond. I have no issues with them. Okay, well, well they about to change that up on you. I know. <laughs> so we'll see how much you love them after that. But that is your under the radar. Now you know the way up mix is coming at the top of the hour, and then we have some time today to talk to Jennifer Williams. We're going to find out about this documentary that's coming out. The new season of Basketball Wise starts tonight. You've been doing your acting. You're engaged. You have a vlog. We're going to talk about all of that. It's way up with Angela Yee. Way just like the talk, like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. New Mano. Talk to him. Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- to you? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's funny. All right, and let's get into some Yee Tea. Congratulations to Lala Milan. She is pregnant. Woo! Yes, her first child. I'm so happy for her. She did an interview with Essence, and she said she uses a period tracker. That's how she found out her cycle was seven days late. And then that's what happened. They've been together her and Tyler P for about a year and change she said they stopped talking and then they got back together again and picked it right back up so they're together now yes they're together now I so, use period tracker too it's so good. do I we it's all very use accurate. it it's so accurate really? and then I, but the thing is you always have to remember to like add in right. when you get your period when it stopped exactly. so you can be more accurate what, what is it it's a little device it's an it's app. app it's an app okay. mm-hmm. yeah it's an app it's, it's actually called period tracker and yep. so it's like a flower on it. And yeah. it, it'll tell you like the days that you are more fertile and it'll give you ovulating. Yeah. When you're ovulating and things like that. So, yep. but it's, it's, I mean, it's based on the app. Sometimes your body is not necessarily synced up to that, but it just gives you a better idea. All right. Now let's talk about Kevin Gates. Oh man, this went Ooh. viral. He was spitting in a, a fan's mouth on the opening night of his tour. Oh All right. God. He had a, a woman on stage. And it's the Only the Generals tour in Virginia. He had her sit down. She tilted her head back. And then if you guys want to see a screenshot. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. She was waiting for it, too. Like, yes. She was excited. I don't do that in my real life with my man, my man, my man. I am not doing that. Ooh, (laughs) that is wild. And some people were speculating, saying that she's Some people asked for that, though. With child. But I don't know if she is or not. But, um, Yes. Some and, people ask for spit in their mouth. Right. And he also likes when women urinate in his, he drank in his mouth. I said he, girl, he was driving in and girl pissed in the cup and he drank it. Oh, my God. He Come on. That, that <laughs> is. Speak nothing of this. <sighs> well, you know, that's life, guys. Um, let's move Ooh. on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Issa Rae. She was doing Culture Con over the weekend. And unfortunately, uh, her name was pronounced wrong. Now, the moderator was Glenda McNeil. She's over at Amex and she came out and not only did she say her name wrong, but the whole audience corrected it. Listen to this. It's pretty incredible. Um, you guys know a lot about Issa Rae for all the work that she's Issa. done. Issa. 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 Issa Rae. Sorry. Issa. Yeah. It's okay. I'm part of the community, they honey. It's okay. Checked her. And it's okay to be vulnerable and don't get it right all the time. That's my life. But anyway, at American Express, Issa Rae has been... 
<laughs> she got wow. Ooh. I mean, listen, I have definitely pronounced some names wrong, but that's what you can't really get that wrong. Especially you doing a one on one interview. Issa. Yeah, you need to kind of know how to say it. It's a pretty easy name. <laughs> yeah. Issa. Shout out to Issa. All right. And um, Ariana Grande and her ex husband have finalized their divorce, Dalton Gomez. And so court documents show that he is going to get, um, you know, $1.25 million up front from this divorce. So she has to pay him. He'll also get half of the net proceeds from the sale of their home in L.A. And she'll be covering the cost of his attorney fees. But there was no custody or child support issues. They never had any kids. And they also have a prenup. So I guess that's it. He gets a payment and half of the money from the house. So what does he do? Um... What? I don't know what he does. Does anybody know what Dalton Gomez does? He's a realtor, right? Yeah. He's mm-hmm. a realtor. So that's it. And I think he's already moved on, if I'm not mistaken. So she, he, he she caught clearly a bag, has. Though. Yeah, she has. She has a, a new man, Ethan Slater. And they live together in New York City. Thank you, next. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Gil King is warning people do not believe this weight loss video that you might see. Um, it's uh, AI f- uh, deep fake is what they call it. Listen to this. Instead of replying to each one individually, I've decided to make a post about it. Follow the link right now and learn more about my secret. Ladies, honestly, I didn't expect my weight loss to spark so many questions. So it's a fake video and it's Damn. not really her, but it sounds like her and it looks like her when you have oh, a chance really? to see that's it. Oh, really? That's the fake. That's the AI. That's yes. the AI right there talking. Mm-hmm, absolutely. But I've that's seen crazy. people on Instagram, they've been doing like this AI, I don't know, like high old school, school cheerleader yeah. picture and stuff like that. Yeah. It's so, but what's, I, I don't know. We should it's, do it. <laughs> We should do it. All right. Um, we actually have real pictures from We have real school. pictures. Maybe I'll post some. No. Don't start that. <laughs> All right. Well, it is a Monday and Mano's here, so we're ready for some Monday. Menovation. Menovation. No hesitation in any situation. I cannot wait to hear what you have to talk about today. When we come back, it's Monday Menovation. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Now I'm back, back, back. Now I'm back. You vibing Way Up with Angela Yee. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela yeah. Yee, and Mano is here. No, yeah. Mano! Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- she Absolutely is. not. Absolutely nope. not. And it's time for some Monday. Mano Vision. Okay. We back at it, man. Listen, let me just tell you, right? It's going to be days when you wake up and you don't feel motivated. Mm. You don't feel like getting out the bed. You don't feel like getting it. Days when you feel like sluggish, you feeling tired, the voices is talking to you. Sometimes the worst person to talk to is yourself because sometimes it's like, it's telling you, man, I'm too this, I'm too that, I'm not good enough, I'm not that. And in the days that you don't feel motivated, you gotta have that discipline because in the, in, in the words of my man, Jim Jones, when you don't feel motivated, you gotta have consistency. Keep on it. Stay on your bike, keep mm. pedaling, keep pushing no matter what, because those days are going to pass. I'm glad you said that because I went to the gym this morning. Right. You wasn't motivated. <laughs> I was Thank not you. motivated. But I haven't been it. going at all. Every morning I would set my alarm and wake up and go back to sleep. Right. And today I was like, and over the weekend, I was like, let me just get up and do this because I feel better after. It's just the act of actually getting up and going. That's, that's tough. right. Getting up, to do, getting up to go do something. Mm-hmm. Is always the hardest part. It's like working out, right? Man, that's the hardest thing to actually go do it. Yeah. But once you do it, you feel better. At once it. I put my clothes on, I know I'm going. The hardest part is getting there. Yeah. I feel you know like once yeah. you get there, you're like, okay, I'm here. I'm gonna do this. But, and I, I also believe that you have to start your week right. So Monday is an important day. It is because that sets Man, the I'll trend on how Man, your I'll week is gonna go. <laughs> right. And thing, and people got dreams, and people want to do certain things. And and the hardest thing to do something, the hardest thing to do is to do something different mm-hmm. and to do something new. So people start to, man, I'm gonna put it off. I'm gonna. They want to do a podcast, but they never get around to doing it. They want to become this, they never get around to doing it. Stay with it, keep pushing. Yeah, uh, listen, and you know, on that note, since we talked about just wanting to do something and doing it, Jennifer Williams is here, and there's a lot of things to talk about because not only is basketball wise coming on tonight, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit too. I also want to talk about the documentary that you have yes. coming out on November 6. It has a date. Thank God. My true oh my scam God. story. It's been such a long time and 
I'm so thankful that you, Angela, our executive producer on the documentary, she's talking about it like she's not a part of it, but well, she actually is an EP. Shout like, out to the EP. No, and listen how this even happened. And, you know, a lot of times when something happens to you, and we've discussed this, when you get scammed, you are embarrassed. You're mm. like, how could the people also make you feel crazy? Like, you're so stupid. How did you not know? You didn't check. But the truth of the matter is, why are we mad at the person that scammed? Mm. You know, exactly. a lot of times people, like, we saw a Tinder swindler, right? And people were like, oh, how did those women fall for that? Instead of being like, why would he be so deceitful and such a terrible person and take advantage of people? Right. You get mad at the victims, mm -hmm. right? People like to victim blame. It's just, it's, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Which and that's why people don't come forward with their story. It's because, embarrassing. Absolutely, it's embarrassing. But what people don't realize is the longer that you stay quiet, you give that person the power to actually harm somebody else. Yeah. So what happened was Jennifer, and I'll never forget because it was during the pandemic. I was at was. home, and I saw her go on on Instagram and post about her car getting stolen, her right. Range Rover, and that wasn't an easy thing for you to admit. But it took a long time for you to get to that breaking point where you were like. And so when we're talking about um, taking action, she could have just said, "All right, I told my story. The police aren't doing anything because you went to the police. You try to do whatever you could just to get your car back, right?" And instead, it was like, you know what? A lot of people started hitting you up. Like he scammed me too. He scammed me too. Uh, same and dude. people were hitting you too. And people were hitting me up also. And I was like, it's time to like do a documentary on this. <laughs> you know, I have been watching a lot of TV during the <laughs> pandemic, and I was like, if you really want to make a point and make some money, we'll do a documentary. Do a documentary. And it happened. And you really went and took action and started like setting up interviews yourself. I came out and interviewed. We were like, we're going to get this done. Wow. You Absolutely. got your car back though, right? No, I never got my car back. I did get restitution. But I, it, it was honestly, at that point, it was bigger than a Range Rover. But well, we're going to talk about it when we come back. 800-292-5150 is the number if you want to leave a message. Let's talk about Jennifer Williams and her true scam story. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Hey. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it, bring in the back. We up with Angela Yee is on. Yes, it's way up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano is here. New no, Mano. Here. Jennifer is here. Do I look like a deluxe b to you? <laughs> no, no, no. And we were just talking about my true scam story. This is a documentary that you did, and I executive produced. Yay. And shout out to Kim Osario as well. Shout out to Kim. Love Kim. And um, Dennis Reed, shout out to Dennis. But this is all about a situation you were in. And if you guys recall, during the pandemic, I did an interview with um, Jennifer and Ramona, who's also part of this um, documentary, where you open up about, you know, being scammed, right? And this all happened on social media. And people were kind of going in on you at first. Like, it was your fault. But I feel like once you get to tell your story, the tables turn. And I can't, I don't know anybody that has never gotten finessed, mm -hmm. scammed, or conned. Mm -hmm. In some capacity, for right. sure. But, you know, I think as black people, we have a, a huge ego, mm -hmm. right? And so nobody kind of wants to admit. They just take their L in private and keep it moving. But again, like I said, when you don't tell your story, you give power to the person that scammed you or did you wrong because they're able to keep doing it. Right, right. And so you were able to, um, you know, this guy you used to date, he stole your car. Yeah. What's his real name? I don't even Aaron know. Aaron Nichols. Okay, Aaron Nichols. I couldn't remember because he had a lot of aliases. Yes, he has so many wow. aliases, but that wow. that is his name, Aaron Nichols. That's not the name you knew him by, though. No, I Nick. knew him as Nick. Mm -hmm. And once you told your story, a lot of people came forward, his own family members. Really? Yes, he scammed his father. His Can you know aunt, what type of person uncle, you have to be? cousin. Wow. You name it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it, you know, it's really sad because his dad um, has some form of mental illness mm -hmm. and he got into, I don't know if it was an accident, but he got a settlement for mm -hmm. some money and he basically scammed him out of the settlement mm -hmm. and never spoke to him after that. And imagine that's your child and now you want to go on the wreck. Like, because at first you're very protective of your child and you're like, look, I don't want to. Because no matter what, even if family members do you wrong, we can be very reluctant to call them out on it. And so for his dad to speak out about this, his own uncle, I mean, honestly, and I remember we spoke to his aunt and uncle, his uncle and 
And um, his wife ended up really getting divorced over this scam, pretty much. It was yes. a, a large part of the reason he was a, quote, car dealer. And he was trying to get his wife got a settlement and mm -hmm. she wanted to buy a car. And mm. so he was like, oh, my nephew is actually a car dealer. He ran into him, was going to get him the car. And then he just kept stole the money and not only stole the money, but put his uncle in a stolen car. And he ended up in jail for the weekend. To your own uncle, flesh and blood wow, family. That's crazy. No, this 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 that's guy, crazy. he is absolutely awful. But never ever has he like he's still roaming around. Wow. Which is wild. Like and so Jennifer, part of in this documentary, I will say this, and I don't know what's gonna air in it, but I, we did try to find him. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was looking for him. <laughs> strip In <club>. Atlanta, <laughs> strip clubs. Really? Uh, Couldn't find him? No. And I will say this, even after a lot of um, he's been exposed, because he's a, a real career con man. He's been doing this for Criminal. decades. Yeah. And he and hasn't been hospitalized yet. I don't know. But I will say this. There's a lot of people looking for him. Really? Yeah, and I will say mm. that um, even though he's been exposed he still will meet women and they still will. He, he has a sob story and they still will fall for it because he Yes, it, it's like I'm like, are you guys living under a rock? Because here's the thing. My story when I put out the story during the pandemic on social media, it, it went viral. Then mm -hmm. we did the interview on on the Breakfast Club. People heard about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lip service. We did right? lip service. And yeah, we, we did we did lip service. And I remember there was a girl that met him after the fact. And he was basically telling her like, oh, don't believe Jennifer. She's just bitter. She wants to be with me. And when everything comes out, just promise me that you'll apologize. And she gave him money and then she got scammed. Wow. Rule number one, don't give him no money, ladies. Good, All right, huh? well, we're going to talk about Basketball Wise with Jennifer because you know it premieres tonight. When we come back, we'll discuss that. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Now I'm back, 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 now I'm back, get out of here. You vibe Way Up with Angela Yee. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee and Amano is here. Hey. Hello, Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b to you? All right, and my true scam story, we just talked about that. It's going to be out on November 6th, right, yes. on VH1. So get at ready for that at 8 p.m. But in the meantime, Basketball Wives is back on tonight, and we have a, a piece of that trailer for you. I mean, look at this smile. It's so crazy how much I love him. This energy, I'm enjoying it. I started to investigate her boyfriend. He did 10 years in prison. And you sure this is the right Christian? He changed his name. He's living under... He changed his name? Yeah. Mm -mm. The only person that needs to approve of him is me. Okay, say it with your chest, Jen. And right. Christian is actually here. Christian Gold, Jennifer Williams, and CG. Now, what did you think when you saw this trailer? Because I know you don't get a chance to see things in advance. Well, the thing is, like, I pretty much lived out the season. And, I mean, the trailer, it, it looks juicy to me. Right. But, Christian, what did you think? Because now this is a spotlight you've never been in before. That now you're going to be... I guess, on some episodes of basketball, or at least a topic of discussion on the show. So how did you feel when you saw it? And you guys also have a vlog that you do. Christian? Yeah, you, the YouTube is dope. I mean, we, um, I, I came on, I came on to the scene to support my, my now fiance. So, uh, you know, of course the, you know, of course the, first of all, I didn't do, t I did, I was sentenced to 10 years. I did three and a half years. Okay. Um, and I actually, in the show, I talk about my experience going through that um, you know, I was very truthful. And of course I did have words with the person that is making a false allegations on what she wants to believe and she's creating this false narrative. So, you know, I, I speak to Jennifer all the time. I let her know, listen, the noise is going to be the noise. We just have to stay the course and um, we know it's real. All right. You know what I mean? So It's helpful to have somebody in your corner too when you have to go through a show like this. And um, there's a lot of, of narratives out there. Now we left it off at the reunion last season. You and Jackie had kind of gotten into it, right? Where do you guys stand as this uh, new season starts? Well, here's the thing. I just felt like last season, Jackie was nitpicking at me. And um, I never really... I felt a way because she was saying things. But I'm like, I don't, I don't hold grudges. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a happy place, 
then you're not looking for drama. And I was just like, okay, listen, that happened. It's water under the bridge. I'm able to move forward, but don't try me. Now, what about Evelyn? Because Evelyn is back this season. Would you ever have anticipated that happening? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Evelyn is an OG. We both started the show, and there were some things that happened, and, and she took a break. But what people don't understand is that they think what they see on TV is like, that's it. Mm -hmm. I have spoke to Evelyn. We have had private conversations that the world is not privy to, but... Okay. We were in a good place before she came back. All right. Now, were we talking every day? Absolutely not. It's different when you have to see someone all the time and you're filming. And she was living on, uh, living in L.A. I was in Atlanta, back and forth in L.A. So I didn't really get to see her. But now she's back on the show. So we film together. I see her all the time. But prior to that, there was no drama. Does it feel the same? Because you guys used to be best friends. It feels normal. Okay. All right, that's all we can ask for for now. Um, and Brittany Renner is joining the show, and we've seen a lot of clips of her on social media and doing different interviews. Did you guys have any types of interaction? What did you think of her? So I didn't film too much with Brittany. I filmed with her in group settings, mm -hmm. but I didn't really do... I had no one-on-one -on -one with her, and I didn't... Like I said, I didn't film a lot with her. I didn't really know her story. I heard things here and there and at first I was just like mm, no she's not my cup of tea and then when I kind of got to know her story a little bit I was like okay maybe she's just misguided mm -hmm. and now I hear the interviews and I'm just like I, I don't know what to think <laughs> but I'm I'm actually a little embarrassed oh you are Mm. based off of things that she's said and done but she owns her stuff right she no she owns it but i'm just like okay why do you go on this podcast and talk about you slept with three men in one day and got a yeast infection that's just you should kind of take some things to the too, grave too much information too much <laughs> well, maybe. for me i was just like whoa too whoa, much information <laughs> It was keep that was close to the chest. Yeah, don't even don't even speak on it. <laughs> but, but, so. maybe, but maybe but so, for some people that's therapy. If whatever if, if for some of the things that they're going through, right? Mana, you've never slept with three girls in one day. At the same time, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. TMI. <laughs> oh, should I have kept that to myself? Uh, yeah, you know, men can get yeast infections too. I just want to put that Indeed, out there, and yeah. then you pass it. Right? Yeah. Should I have kept that to myself? Yes, because this, this is not about me. <laughs> no, it's this not. This is about uh, basketball wives, Jennifer and Brittany Renner. You're okay. just asking my opinion. Right? Okay. And then I saw uh, previously we saw Clayana was coming for you, and she, but I didn't see her in the preview for the show. So what happened with that? Yeah, so I think the new girls come on the show and they feel like they have to come at the OGs to maybe secure their position, be it's on like the next season. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so ridiculous because honestly, I was just trying to figure out where this girl even came from. Mm -hmm. You have to think like these girls come on the show and it has to make sense to the audience. Like, who knows you? Who brought you on? Like, you can't just show up. That's like me just walking in the studio and I sit down. You're going to be like, uh, where did you come from? So I think she had a issue with that, allegedly. I don't know, but Kleana is a straight basket case. And mm -hmm. I'm going a, I'm to a let you guys see on the show how uh -oh. it plays out. But as you can see, she's not in a promo. She's in a couple episodes, and she gets x out. Oh, oh well, wow. the, the, the nice summary. Wow. Well, I will say that show is on tonight. All right, so guys, make sure you watch Basketball Wise. Jennifer doesn't even know what's going to be happening tonight. But make sure you watch the Jennifer and CG blog as well so you can see how their relationship started. Because yes, I know tune into our YouTube channel. people have a lot of questions, and I think you guys answer a lot of them there. I think you even did one on your own without Jennifer yeah, to yeah, kind of yeah. answer. And they want to know They want to know who I am and what I'm about, what mm -hmm. I do. So, you know, I, I, I gave them what they wanted. Okay. It's yeah. so crazy to me because I'm like, I don't know why people are so invested in my, my dating life. It's a life. good thing. I guess, but I'm just like, I don't care who people date and, and what's going on. And Jennifer, you've had some doozies in the past, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I, you I, had some doozies. I, I definitely <laughs> have, but guess what? A lot of people have had some doozies. Yes, we have. It's just not public like that. And so when people get to see it, right. you really, But Mayna, when we come back, we got to get back to you. This For My City Challenge. Yeah. We want to uh, go over some of these winners. Okay, let's do it. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Hey. Yeah, she back at it. Bring it, bring in the Mac. We up with.
with Angela Yee is on. Yes, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mayno is here. No, no Mayno! Hey. Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- to you? Hell no. <laughs> Can Never. I wait to watch Basketball Wives tonight? <laughs> All right, now, Mayno, for my city, the this challenge. For my city, so this for the town. We're almost done with this, right? Like, with yeah. you choosing all the winners. When yeah. is the the everything? I mean, I'm choosing them. I'm going to choose some more today. But so far, I, cho- I chose from uh, Hartford, um, Connecticut, YB the Guard, uh, Virginia Beach, uh, Official Top Pretty Music, mm-hmm. Atlantic City, uh, The Real Mr. Atlantic City, Miami, The Official J Bo. So those are the four right now that Can I got. Can we hear some? You got some? Let's go. We got all of them? Okay. All right, here is YB the Guy from Hartford, Connecticut. This for my city. I'm sick of my city. I'm sick of the dying. I'm sick of the killing. I'm sick of the youngest. Sick of the dumb. And I'm sick of these youth that shooting for nothing. Sick of the gossip. Sick of the hate. Sick of the phony. I'm sick of the fake. Sick of this pistol. I'm using this drink. When it come to my city, you reading this late. And we're right in the face. The girl that got killed, he's done three on the third. His homie got killed because he owe him a bird. Put his mouth on the curb. CT from Arthur with lessons get learned. This for the north. This for the south. This for the sick. that's right by the house. This for the G's. This for the greats. This for the 60 and start with the 8. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, why be the God? He has something to God. say. Yeah. All right. Uh, Virginia Beach. Official Thai Pretty Music. Oh, bro, Britain at Sea Time. With a young nigga called like me, yeah. Who you might see with your T at. Same street state, boy P made his beat set. Well, you don't want beef that. Believe that. Murder charges, they beat that. This slide through, let the heat clap. This spin back through for the recap. Better relax, and I mean that. Come through shining and we see that. Got a nice little chain and a cute little watch. And before you leave, we gon' need that. But peace, scratch, I only speak facts. And if I was you, I'd keep my feedback. When taking things, this is sweet about the beast. My reply, eight time is why would you think that? Okay, I remember that one. Remember that one? I remember that one. Okay, official tie pretty. Um, next up, Atlantic Mr. City. Atlantic City. This is my city, I've been at the crown. I want you to hear it, I ain't muzzle the pound. Come to my city, Atlantic City. It ain't just casinos, homies get down. Blinkies throw rounds, bodies get found. Atlantic City where that work touch down. So much yoke that the fiends stay around. All this hope you think the price drop down. Casino cartel where nobody can snitch. And if they do, they throw to get innocent. We live by the codes, we die by the ish. We learn from Italians, mafia ish. We run a whole building, no probably boy. Bricks in the walls, we lobby boys. Copped it in Brooklyn, brought it in town. May no shine on remix clown just for my city. Okay. He kind of sounded right. a little like you, Mayno, right? He, didn't he? Saw, I, mean, I like that one. Really? Yeah. He sounded like me. Hey, didn't he say some other lobby, yeah, lobby boys, boys too? Yeah. Wait, Sorry, hold see? on, hold on. Is this like part of your... No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not part of the crew no, or nothing no, no, like that? No, never a met that man. Fake. Never met that <laughs> Never. It's not AI. It's not a deep fake. Never met that man. Jennifer I just liked it. Okay, all right. I liked it. And Miami? Okay. Hey, he yeah. flipped it. It sounded like he really produced it yeah, too. Yeah, he played with my beat too a little bit. Right now, I was I like, you sound like feel about that, but <laughs> the <yeah>. remix. Yeah, <laughs> sound like he it, tripled it up. But I like, I like the melody though. Okay, all right. You know? I didn't know people could change the beat. Not, yeah, they, nobody told him to do that. Don't touch the beat, man. <laughs> All right, well, that was for my city, and we're going to keep on as you yeah. are choosing. More all right, where the ladies at? No, I definitely got the ladies, though. Okay, all right. That's going to be hard. It's two right here from Queens. I might have to just give them both. both of them. Okay, all right. Maybe extended version. Queens in the yeah. built-in. All right, well, Jennifer Williams is here. Mayna was here. And when we come back, ask ye. 800-292-5150 is a number. We're here to give advice, and I know we all have a different perspective. It's way up. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should, so you should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano is here. I'm Jenna, here. Jennifer Williams is here. And it's time for Ask Yee. You know, Mano is an award winning advice award giver. Winning. Definitely. And we have Tay on the line. What's up, Tay? Hey, Tay hey, Yee. What's good? What's your question for Ask Yee? We got a lot of help. <laughs> so, my question is when exactly. 
you know, do the stepdads get clout for, you know, doing, you know, the real father's day. Mm. So what's the, because, tell us what's the problem. All right, so I've been dating this female ever since my brother died out here in Virginia Beach. And she has four children. She has a set of twins that's 22, a 16-year-old, and a 13-year-old. These are all current ages now. Mm-hmm. I helped the twins graduate high school. Their father is, you know, different from the other kid's father. Okay. Uh, one is from Spain, and then the other one is from Florida. So basically, I've been raising these these children and helping raising these children for the past seven and a half years. Mm-hmm. And she let her children dictate her relationship, and I'm just sitting here like paying all the bills and breaking my back going to work and. I, you know, put my everything on hold just for this family. Mm. And I don't have no family out here, so it's literally just me. Right. They it feels like you want respect. Now, if you expect a pat on the back, I don't think I ever even patted my um, parents on the back ever for anything. But I, the biggest reward for kids, and I know it's different because these are your stepchildren, right? You weren't there from when they were born. Um, it's for them to grow up and be successful adults. But they are still... You know, kids, and there's a lot of things that happened in their relationship before you got there, too, to make them the way mm-hmm. that they are, you know? And so maybe it's managing those expectations. I wouldn't expect clout from the stepchildren. Um, Jen, you're getting married. Does Christian have any kids? Yes, he does. And how do they treat you? Um, Fine. His ki- his kids are young. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he has a um, an older son. He's, he's very respectful. Mm-hmm. But... Um, I don't know. I guess I don't. I'm not. Looking it's a for, process. It's going to be a process. No, for sure. Definitely. It's a process. But I don't at this point, I'm not looking for validation. Mm-hmm. Right. And, I, you know, and I understand when you're with somebody, you're a step parent, you're married to their mom. And so part of that is, you know, you have to have a relationship with the kids that comes, you know, with the territory. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like it might be more of the mother's responsibility to make mm-hmm. sure that these kids are are more respectful and and living mm-hmm. up to to what it is that you need and i also maybe would think perhaps family meetings would help yes i think so mm-hmm. i totally agree i totally agree yeah because sometimes being able to vocalize how you feel and keep the lines of communication open instead of waiting till things get so bad that it can't be fixed um is important mm-hmm. what do you think mano i'm gonna tell you like this uh oh. <laughs> he already told me to run. <laughs> no, listen, listen. No, I'm not gonna tell you that. It's no awards for being real, for being solid. Like you do that because that's just who you are. That's mm-hmm. just your you know, your principles that you stand on. That's who you are as a person. We don't get no awards for that. Be who you are, but at the same time, don't be nobody sucker, bro. Right. You do have Come to on. have some type of like, authority. Yeah, don't be nobody sucker. As I mean a, the, as a dad. You gotta love yourself more than you love everything else. I mean, at some point. So just remember that. Yeah, establish the way that you, you expect to be treated. And you do have to be stern. You don't always have to be the nice guy. But the communication I think is important. Yeah, don't be too nice, man. The communication of you guys maybe having a weekly meeting until things get to a better space yeah. that is non negotiable is something that you may have to create. Yeah, come to that weapon dressed in all oh no. Come to that meeting dressed in all black. Oh boy. Okay, Mano. You know, like Mano's dressed in all black right now. Dressed in all black. No. Let them know you you there for business. All Family right, t- is important, yeah. so I, I wish you luck with that. Yes, Tay, we definitely wish you luck, and thank you for calling. That is Ask Ye, 800-292-5150 is the number. When we come back, you guys have the last word. It's way up. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in and get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Ye. Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Ye. I'm Angela Ye, and Mano is here. New Mano! Mano. On a main ovation on Monday. That's right. Jennifer Williams is here. Do I look like a deluxe b- to you? <laughs> no, no, no. That's right. Basketball <laughs> Wise is back tonight at 9 p.m. Also here, looking amazing. Oh, thank you. Redefine Glam. Get into it. Get into it. Redefine Glam. So we'll be watching for all of that. And congratulations again on the engagement. Thank you. She thank got her you. man up here with her today. Y'all yes. outside. My man, her. my man, my man. Mm-hmm. And so shout out to um, everybody who tuned in today. I know a lot of people were calling up to tell us a secret. Y'all ain't believing the secret this girl told about uh, about to go to prison. And she had three guys perform oral on her. We one believe by one. it. We just don't think it stopped there. 
Yeah, I just I feel like this, right? So <laughs> what benefit for the guy is just like they perform oral, right. they get nothing in return, right. they don't, you know. I can see maybe one that, being a freak and like I'm cool, but all of them. And then so it's like you give oral and then you just leave out. Yeah, yeah, like go back in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I just, That's what they were getting out of the pool to come and do that. Would you do that, Mano? Absolutely you know not. Stop playing with me. I don't play. You've those done guys. it before. Absolutely not. Listen, I get reciprocated. All right. But girls have done that to you before, and Fel- that's it. Felicia, yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. So I don't know. Well, anyway, shout out to everybody who calls in to tell us a secret. It's not a problem. We appreciate y'all. And don't forget, not only is Basketball Wise back on tonight, but November sixth. My true scam story. All right, Jennifer Williams. By the way, who has her own Jennifer Williams Productions yes. going down? So yes, I know there's going to yes. be a lot more things to come. Congrats. Yes, I have a I have a movie that I'm working on, and I can't wait to see the final thing. It's, and you get married. Amazing! I'm getting married. I have a new YouTube okay. channel. I have Redefined Glam. Isn't life I have Angela Yee as executive producer That's of My right. True Scam Story. Shout out to Angela. Thank you for having me. Oh, no, I appreciate it. And you'll be back November 6th before it comes out. I cannot wait Absolutely. for you guys to see this real story. Okay? All right. In the meantime, 800 292 5150. Of course, you guys always have the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. Um, it's been maybe about a month or two, but I am sleeping with a co worker. We see each other every day. We're right across from the hall from each other. Um, He has a baby and a girlfriend. And I'm going to say he started it. I didn't do it. But it's definitely excited my adrenaline. And we both got that freaking us. So I don't know. Hi, Angela. This is uh, Vivian Prevost. And I just want to shine a light on my uh, daughter, Tyler Nicole. She's a news anchor for WSAV uh, News 10 in Savannah, Georgia. And we're so, so proud of her. So just want to shine a light on her. How you doing? My secret is I slept with my girlfriend's grandmother. It was at a family reunion. I'm from Philly. And she kept giving me a side look. And once I uh, had to go get ice to put in a cooler, and she said she was gonna ride with me. So on the way there getting the ice, he was all spilling over me. And I was surprised it was my girlfriend's grandmother. So I was a little skeptical. The next thing you know, she started unbuckling my pants. And she told me, don't say a word. I said, I won't. Hi, Angela Yee, this is Mia from St. Augustine, Florida. Tomorrow is my birthday, 1010. I want to be 26. I'm so happy and free and happy to see my kids grow. I just want to shout out to myself. I just want to give a little cheeky to myself because it's a real big birthday tomorrow. Going way up, up, up with Angela Yee.